and greetings. My name is Sheila Brown and I'm sitting here in my living room on the east coast of the United States and I'm here to talk to you today a little bit about the wonderful Lunigiana International Music Festival in Italy. Now this year of course things have had to go online because of COVID-19. However, we are offering some online courses that I think you will enjoy starting July 23rd through August 2nd. And I will be giving a webinar and also a masterclass where three violists will be chosen based upon video submission to participate in my masterclass. So let me backtrack a little bit. I'm going to tell you that I'm from Philadelphia. So I grew up in one of the most amazing cultural cities on the East Coast of the United States, home of the Philadelphia Orchestra and of the Curtis Institute. And when I was 18, I decided to attend the Juilliard School in New York, which is where I met my most amazing mentor and teacher, Karen Tuttle, who is a very famous teacher. She's taught people like the soloist Kim Kashkashian, Lawrence Power, and many wonderful teachers and players for decades. So I fell in love with her, with the viola, and one very important thing that she taught me is that you did not have to play the viola when you were in pain. It did not even have to be uncomfortable. That you could learn to live in your own body comfortably and learn to play the viola in a biomechanically intelligent way. And the other thing that she taught me is that all of these things come across in your sound. So this is what I would like to work on in the masterclass, and I'll talk about it beforehand in the webinar. All of the different sorts of things we can look at that go into sound that maybe we don't always think about, that the body is a natural resonating chamber. So for example, if you put the viola under your chin and you look down the fingerboard and you're very tight in your jaw and in your neck, that will affect your sound. And Karen Tuttle was an absolute genius at coming up with ways to cuddle the instrument, to make it a comfortable, loving, and wonderful sharing of amazing music with the audience. So it also helps very much with nerves, with stage fright, with ideas about tendonitis and things like that, that are completely avoidable if one is understanding intelligently how to use the human body. So I became Karen Tuttle's teaching assistant at the age of 18 as a little freshman at the Juilliard School and have been teaching ever since. I love empowering my students. I love passing down the information that Karen Tuttle gave to me that she learned from her mentor and teacher, William Primrose, the very famous soloist originally from Scotland. So throughout the years, I've had a very different sort of playing career. I've been in some wonderful string quartets. I've had several concertos written for me that I have premiered. I've played a lot of new music and worked with many famous composers, such as Joan Tower, Mr. Penderecki, one of the things I love so much about being a performing professor musician is that I have many opportunities to travel. I've been to six continents and despite all the trials and tribulations of plane travel, which I'm certain are only going to get worse <laughs> from here on in, I love the inspiration of learning about people from other cultures and not taking things for granted in terms of the comfort level of my, my own life. Right now, I am on the viola faculty of the brand new Tianjin Juilliard School, which is a branch of the Juilliard School based in New York in the United States. And this is a very exciting project where, well, I'm in my second year of going around the world not just in Asia, but in Europe, Australia, and other places to spread the word about the school by giving masterclasses, recitals,
things like this. And we are very excited as we are expecting our first graduate incoming class starting this coming fall. And my class is going to be quite international, made up of people from several continents, South America, the United States, Korea, and China. So this is something that's always been near and dear to my heart, traveling. So it's a very exciting time to be involved in something that is truly global, where we want to exchange ideas from the East and the West from European classical music and Asian folk music, also the Asian take on classical music. So this is a very exciting time for me to be a pioneer and part of this new normal. Munijiana International Music Festival is going to be a fantastic place for students to go to do all of those things. It's in Tuscany in Northern Italy about 75 miles from Florence. So it's close to the Mediterranean Sea and close to the Dolomites, to the Italian Alps. I cannot picture any place that could be more inspiring for classical musicians. So you can take some time to unwind, have some amazing Italian food, hear beautiful music, play beautiful music. And I don't know about you, but I always play better when I'm feeling inspired in a relaxed sort of setting where I can really take the time to breathe and to enjoy and imbibe the air of a place that is so different from my normal everyday life. So there's going to be lots of chamber music experiences. One of the coolest things that I've been hearing about Luna Gianna from the other faculty members is that we will be playing concerts in caves, in villas, in medieval castles, and also in outdoor venues, such as town, town squares and things. And these are the sorts of memories that you never forget. And of course, so much of classical music has to do with vocal origins in Italy that it's a wonderful opportunity to think about coming to Luna Gianna next summer for 2021 when we are supposing that everything will be back to normal where we can all meet together in person and have one-on-one -on -one lessons and play chamber music together. So we're hoping that you will join us this summer, get to know the faculty, sign up to play in my master class, which will be on August 1st, and if you have any questions about me or about the festival, you can go online and find us. My personal website is violasheilabrown.com. And we look forward to hearing from you. Bye-bye.